Hi, my name is Natalie Lebel, and today I'd like to share with you seven different types of meditation that you can try right now. Now, meditating is one of the best ways to relax, and it's a vital part of a spirituality practice. Uh, but there are so many other benefits to meditation as well, along with many different types of meditations that are out there. So if you're a little confused, I don't blame you because there are so many different types that are available. So if you're new to the practice and you're new to meditating and you want to learn more about how to meditate and what is the best meditation style for you, there's plenty of different options for beginners that are out there. So from reducing stress to increasing your attention span, uh, to clearing your mind and to healing yourself from within. The benefits go on and on and on, which is why I'm a massive advocate of meditation. So today I wanted to give you some meditation tips and bring some awareness to all of the different types of meditations out there so you can find out what works best for you. So here are seven different types of meditation that you can try now. The first one is what we call your guided meditation. Now a guided meditation is probably the most popular meditation practice for people, especially for those who are just beginning to meditate. Now it really is the easiest way to start because you'll have someone guiding you through your breath and through your mantras. Normally they play beautiful music and you have a voice leading you through what it is that you wanna do, what you wanna be focusing on, what it is that you wanna think. Now there are plenty of apps and websites out there that have got tons of guided meditations for you. Um, and from anything that you wanna focus on, you can have ones that are specific to improving your health, uh, to improving your career, to expanding love, uh, to focusing on inspiration, uh, to focus on your family. Whatever it is that you want, there's a guided meditation that will be able to help you to focus your mind onto that particular thing. So no matter how experienced you are with meditation, sometimes it's really good to have just a little bit of guidance. And it makes it so much easier just to follow along with the audio. Okay, so number two is what we call a mindfulness meditation. Now, mindfulness meditation is a practice that involves staying in the present moment while you're suspending judgment of yourself and of your environment. Now, this is a fantastic way to go test the waters if you're new to meditation. Now, one of the very many positive aspects of mindfulness meditation is that it can be practiced anywhere. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you can use mindfulness to be aware of your surroundings. For example, you could go for a walk and be acutely aware of what you're smelling, flowers, you know, the trees, the foliage, um, you, what you're seeing, what, the different colors that you can see. Um, you know, you know, are, there, are there other people around you? Are you seeing pets or animals? You know, and everything that you can hear, listen to it like you're listening to it for the first time. Now, mindfulness has been shown to really alleviate negative emotions, uh, reduce stress, improve your memory, and even relationships. Now, it's a great practice to do every single day. So try doing it with the activities like unpacking the dishwasher or anything where you don't really need to pay a lot of attention. It's something that's a little bit mundane, something that's a little bit repetitive, and then you can just drop into that moment. And while you're doing, say, unpacking the dishwasher, notice what else you can hear. Notice what else is going on around and really focus on the, on the job at hand. And by doing this, you could make unpacking the dishwasher one of the most highlights of your day. <laughs> okay, so number three is the Kundalini meditation or, or Kundalini yoga. Now, Kundalini's main purpose is to awaken the Kundalini energy center, which is at the sacrum, which is down here in the body. Now, awakening that energy center brings incredible joy and profound consciousness. Now, Kundalini is a long process and involves intense breath work and a lot of patience. So you definitely want some guidance if you're new to this kind of a practice. And maybe you can research if there's anyone that teaches that in your area. Now, Kundalini may be one of the more intense meditation practices out there, but it's also deeply healing and it's very rewarding. So I highly recommend checking it out. So check to see if anyone teaches it locally near you and join a class and a group. And it'll make it easier for you to do that, especially if it's the first time you're trying it. Okay, so number four is what we call transcendental meditation. Now, TM is a very quiet and spiritual meditation with the goal being to transcend your current state of being. Now, this is a very widely practiced meditation throughout the world. And it's a, and it's a form of mantra meditation. 
So I know that when you go to get certified or you go to a class and you learn how to, to do tea and meditation, what happens is they give you your own personal mantra. You don't tell anyone who, what it is, but this is what you repeat as you're going through your meditation. So people who practice this type of meditation report that they experience heightened spiritual awareness and heightened mindfulness. And I was actually introduced to TM through the David Lynch Foundation. Now David Lynch, you may know, is a movie director and he's created a foundation where they're taking TM into schools. Now you can definitely look them up online and they've had some incredible results, especially in schools where there's been a lot of behavior problems and where they've introduced TM into this, it's really helped to um, positively influence the behavior of the students. It's really fantastic. Okay, so number five is Zen meditation. Now Zen meditation is part of the traditional Buddhist practice and its discipline dates back to about the seventh century China. You know, its main purpose is a very deep spiritual one, and it goes very deep. Now, this practice focuses on clarity and awakening the mind, and it's a controlled practice. It requires acute attention to posture and to your breath as well. But it's also extremely beneficial, and it tackles deep-rooted issues, and it provides tools to help you with anxiety and with depression. So it's pretty intense, but it's very, very beneficial. So number six is a loving kindness meditation or a metta meditation. Now metta meditation, also which is called loving kindness meditation, is the practice of directing well wishes towards others. So those who practice recite specific words and phrases that are meant to evoke warm hearted feelings. It's typically practiced while sitting in a very comfortable and very relaxed position. So after you're taking a few deep breaths, you repeat the following words slowly and steadily. So you repeat the words, may I be happy, may I be well, may I be safe, may I be peaceful and at ease. Now the key is to repeat the message over and over and over again until you feel an attitude of loving and it's designed to experience and send feelings of compassion and love both for yourself and for the people around you. Now, it can really help with things like anger and frustration and resentment and interpersonal conflicts. So if you find that those are some issues that are coming up for you, trying a meta meditation could be the one for you. Now, number seven is a body scan or progressive relaxation meditation. So progressive relaxation, sometimes called body scan meditation, is a meditation that encourages people to scan their bodies for areas of tension. So the goal is to notice where the tension is and allow it to release from the body. So during a progressive relaxation meditation, the goal is to start at one end of your body, usually at the feet, and then work your way slowly through the entire body, noticing where you feel tense, where you feel stress, and then being able to release it. Now, some forms of progressive relaxation requires you to tense and then relax your muscles. And others encourage you to visualize a wave drifting over your body to release the tension. Now, progressive relaxation can actually help to promote generalized feelings of calmness and of relaxation throughout your entire body. And it may also help with things like chronic pain. Now, because it slowly and steadily relaxes the body, some people use this form of meditation to actually help them sleep. Now there are certainly more meditation styles out there, but these are some of the ones that actually I have tried and I've had great success with. So is there some kind of meditation that you really love to do? Something that I didn't share here today. If you have something, please share a comment in the box below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Now don't forget to subscribe to the Mind Movies YouTube channel for more videos on personal growth and the law of attraction. Again, my name is Natalie Ledwell. Thank you for watching and bye for now.